Salam Katibi has found a voice to explain the origin of our personal conflict with the world. She makes things that are forbidden in the real world possible in her imagination. I chose Cyanide as the title of my show because the works deal with elements of life and death. The fragility of the current status of world affairs most likely plays a part in this choice. I'm fascinated by stories that deal with poisons used to kill, by poisonous plants and animals. Anything that proves really that we're nothing against the forces of nature the intricate powers of nature. It's a short word that immediately triggers our imagination with fascination. It captivates our attention and triggers our senses. I was brought up surrounded by objects and with a notion of collecting, so it has always been a part of me. There is an obsessive element in collecting things, but more than that it's my universe and it's as if they are a part of me. There is no hierarchy amongst them, whether they're antique versus new, the banal versus the extraordinary, cheap versus expensive. They symbolize energies within us. There is a spirit in history that remains in artifacts throughout time. They're like cell memories of a recorded time. And by placing them in a certain order, it's as if they become a language on their own. I tend to sacralize my objects. I paint in an unconscious state. By this I mean I do not plan what is going to happen, and I don't use myths to create a narrative. First a landscape is formed, then elements are added, and at a certain point things just start to happen. My subjects are ambiguous with their relationship to power structures, violence, sensuality, and each other. There is no morality. I like the work to be open. I don't wish to offer an answer on a possible narration. <laughs> 